today we'll do a problem on fluid mechanics this problem was given in gate 2010 the problem is as follows you can see it over here a smooth pipe of diameter 200 mm carries water full stop the pressure in the pipe at section s1 elevation 10 meter is 50 kilopascal full stop at section s2 elevation 12 meter the pressure is 20 kilopascal the velocity is 2 meter per second density of water is 1000 kg per meter cube and acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meter per second which of the following is true we are given four options over here so out of this we have to choose the true or true statement or the correct option the options are as follows Flow is from S1 to S2 and head loss is 0.53 meter. Flow is from S2 to S1 and the head loss is uh, 0.53 meter. Flow is from S1 to S2 and the head loss is 1.06 meter. Flow is from S2 to S1 and the head loss is 0.53 meter. Now to solve this problem, uh, we are given a pipe section with elevation uh, with different elevations so let me first draw the diagram and uh, represent it <coughs> the flow will be in this direction let this be section s1 this is section s2 if this is the datum line this elevation is given as 10 meter and this elevation is given as 12 meter. The flow is in this direction. So the flow will occur in this direction. Now we are given different elevations. The pressure at S1 is given as 50 kilopascal and S2 is given as 20 kilopascal. The velocity is given as 2 meter per second. These are the information given to us. Now, if we apply Bernoulli's uh, equation for real fluid flow, we have Bernoulli's equation for real fluid flow P1 by rho g plus V1 square by twice g plus Z1 is equal to P2 by rho g plus V2 square by twice g plus Z2 plus HL. HL is the hydraulic loss term. Now, uh, in this case, we can see this is a pipe of constant diameter it is given. There is nothing given about uh, the section, cross section being bearing. So we we'll consider this pipe to be a constant cross section pipe. Now for constant cross section pipe, for constant diameter, diameter pipe, V1 will be equal to V2. If V1 is equal to V2, these two can cancel off. So the Bernoulli's equation reduces to P1 by rho g plus V, uh, sorry, V will be cancelled off. So Z1 is equal to P2 by rho g plus Z2 plus HL. Now we have to find out the hydraulic, uh, the head loss in the pipe section. So HL will be equal to P1 minus P2 by rho g plus Z1 minus Z2. It reduces into this form. Let me continue this over here. I will wrap this off. So, from here we get HL is equal to 
P1 is 50 kilopascal. Let me write it in this form. 50 minus 20. Since P2 is 20 kilopascal into 1000. I have converted the kilopascal into pascal. Divided by density of water we know is 1000. Into 9.81. Plus. Z1 is given to us as 10 minus 12. Z2. The elevation of section 2 is 12 meters. Solving this, we get 2. Sorry, this will be 3.03, .03, I guess. And HL will be equal to 1.03. 0.3 meter. Okay. Since HL is coming positive, therefore we can say that the head at P, uh, the P uh, head at section one is greater than the head at section two. Since head at uh, section one is greater than head at section two, so the flow will occur from S1 to S2 with a head loss of 1.03 meter. If we go through the options, we'll see that the option C matches with this uh, whatever answer we have found. So, the correct option is option C. Thank you.